In this video, I'll show you how to make a real working magic wand using the principles of engineering and technology. So get comfortable and join the technicians as we explore the real magic of science. Here's something I call lightning craft. I'm using the tip of the wand here to deposit charges on the surface of this plastic sheet which is sitting on the top of concrete. Wherever the wand touches the plastic, that's where charges will be left. So when the charges finally neutralize in the form of a lightning bolt, they'll follow the path that I created. You've probably guessed by now that this wand is a high voltage device capable of generating copious amounts of charge so it's probably no surprise that it can easily set fire to flammable vapors. But you might not have expected that since this device can produce so much ion wind, it can also extinguish fires. Here's an interesting phenomena I discovered entirely by accident. Here we see the wand attracting nearby iron particles and giving them a huge amount of negative charge. Some of those tiny iron particles gain so much charge from the wand that they spontaneously ignite when they leave the field. And all this is possible because the wand can produce over 120,000 volts of continuous direct current. Thanks to the powerful onboard cascade multiplier, there is more than enough energy to raise somebody's hair. <coughs> Discharge. <laughs> All the energy delivered to the tip of the wand is channeled through the handle and into the person that's holding it. So naturally, if I ground the tip, I'll become the high voltage terminal and my hair will stand up too. Normally, traveling vortex rings are a stable shape, but the intense electric fields created by the wand instantly dissolve the geometry of the vortex rings, causing them to explode on contact. Now that you've seen what the wand can do, I'll show you how I built it. Here's the assembly that makes it all work. It's based on the same zero voltage switching circuit that's become famous online. In an earlier post of this video, several of you asked me for a full schematic, so I reposted the video and here it is. Everything is powered by these two high drain lithium ion batteries. The custom 8000 volt transformer was made by completely epoxy encapsulating the secondary of a CCFL transformer and adding a 10 turn center tap primary coil. A quick circuit test at 8.4 volts reveals everything is working great. Three push switches are wired in parallel and attached to this acetyl ring which allows you to squeeze the outsides of the case in from any side to activate the circuit. It's important to use MOSFETs with a low on resistance in the circuit since there's hardly any space to dissipate the heat. Mine are 6 milliohms, which means they generate almost no heat running about 5 to 6 amps. The value of the resonant capacitor will depend on the transformer that's used. In my case, I used a 1 microfarad capacitor. Since the inductor has to handle the full current of the circuit, I made sure the inductor I used was rated for 8 amps. You won't find Phoenix Feather or Dragon Heartstring at the core of this wand. Instead, a chain of diodes and capacitors line its core. Each capacitor is 100 picofarads at 8 kV, and all the diodes are 8 kV at 5 milliamps. All the diodes and capacitors are soldered together into an extremely compact assembly. The last thing to note are these two 470 k ohm 2 watt resistors in series, which reduce the instantaneous output current of the multiplier to protect the components and the human operator. To form the case of the wand, I took some thin plastic sheet and rolled it into a tapered tube. Then I coated the entire tube in strips of fiberglass. Once the fiberglass was cured, I did some final shaping and sanded it all down, but I left the spiral wrap look of the fiberglass exposed because I thought it looked pretty cool. Finally, the multiplier was reduced down to 15 stages, giving it a total of 120,000 volts output. The brass tube attached to the end of the two resistors will be inserted through the hole in this acetyl end cap. 
which allows different field shaping electrodes to be attached to the wand after assembly. Lastly, wires are attached to the hole multiplier and it's inserted into the core of the wand, then completely covered in epoxy. With all the preparations done, the remaining pieces can be assembled. Copper tape wrapped around the handle forms the electrode which connects the operator to the wand. The pommel is nothing more than a dresser drawer handle that I machined down on the lathe. Two rods inserted through the sides form a twist lock mechanism which allows me to rapidly change the batteries, which is really important because the circuit draws a lot of energy and drains these batteries fast. A few coats of flat black plastic paint really tie the look together, and finishing touches like the silver lettering and a final clear coat of lacquer complete the build. Keep in mind that this is a high voltage circuit and can be quite dangerous when used incorrectly. It might also be quite the challenge to construct for those not already familiar with high voltage electronics, but don't let that stop you from trying and learning from the experience. This wand has been an absolute blast to experiment with and learn from, which is why I've already designed a much more powerful and efficient circuit. And since a new tutorial for the new version is coming out, this one is going to be left exactly where it is. But if you have a question, feel free to ask in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer it. But did you know you could also ask us questions on our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, or if you want to see more videos like this posted more frequently, you can make it happen with a one-time donation through PayPal. If you help us afford the parts, we'll post amazing content more frequently. That's a promise. Hang in there because there's a lot more crazy content just around the corner. Thanks for being patient with us between videos. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications if you want to know when those videos are released. And outtakes. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you only won definitely for that one. Do you see how awesome this work was though? Don't electrify your friends or electrocute your friends. Do we let's not put the die in die electric today? <laughs> <laughs> man. I'm full of potential, mom! Your loss, your loss. <laughs> yeah, that's your loss, your loss. <laughs>